That's your happy ending. Uh, hold on, let me get this straight. Um, now, I'm living in an economy that looks like the backside of a hangover, and I'm supposed to resonate with this. Your white picket fence narrative is an outdated flavor of success, comfortable, middle-class complacency that is a stranger to me. I don't know what this looks like. I didn't even see this in my parents. The American dream isn't even an option. I don't want it. I wouldn't know what to do with it if you dropped it in my lap. Do I look like I have time for two snot-nosed kids orbiting my <laughs> nuclear family? I'm working two jobs to pay rent. And then there's the high school sweetheart thing, because really, gross? <laughs> I wouldn't let my high school friends watch my dog, much less raise my children. Did any of these young adult fiction writers actually go to high school? I'm not marrying anybody from that. <laughs> and don't think I haven't noticed that all these writers are from two generations back. You aren't hip, sweetheart. You aren't speaking my language. <laughs> we aren't here living out your teenage wet, wet dreams. We are hearts carved in the shape of fear, standing on a precipice between complacency and revolution, mm. and all it will take is a single step. I'm not looking for the kind of love that lasts forever. I'm begging for scraps. Because I know one day I'm going to want to take that job in Chicago and he's going to want to stay close to his mom or she's going to want to start that new business and we'll be so busy paying bills we'll forget to say goodbye in the morning and love will go back to being a story I only tell when I'm lonely, which these days is all the time. I'm not buying your happily ever after because you're preaching to a choir that would be content with so much as happily till tomorrow. Don't take me on the wildest adventure of my life and then end it in something so ordinary and unattainable. Don't give me a character that looks like me and then give her a life like my grandmother's. I'm trying to survive here. I don't need a happily ever. I'm just looking for an after. Oh. <laughs>